What's up guys, David here and welcome to another part of the CNC conversion series. As you can see, I already did quite a bit of work for this part. Uh, I didn't film all that much, but what you can see here is the base of the housing for the CNC. It's made out of two millimeter steel sheet and I had the, like, the major pieces cut uh, uh, at like a, a big place where I bought the steel and then I used a plasma cutter to like make some of the smaller cuts and bent it into shape since I don't have the proper uh, equipment or don't know anyone that has a cheap metal break big enough uh, I just used a hammer and some wooden boards it was quite a chore but it ended up working and then I just welded all the seams and ground them down with an angle grinder so that it looks a bit nicer. That's just a really quick summary uh, of what I did here. Uh, this thing is huge and super heavy, so it, uh, I now have it finally here, but uh, I had to like carry it in through the garden, through the window uh, to get it here. And I'm now in the process of degreasing the whole thing so I can then paint it. The paint I'm using is uh, this special made uh, anti-rust uh, primer for special made for steel and then on top I have this uh, synthetic lacquer uh, in like a very light grey for the inside and uh, like a very dark grey or almost black for the outside. This is gonna allow me to have a pretty light machine on the inside where I see everything very well but still have like a stealthy look on the outside. So, and if you don't quite see it, uh, how the machine is going to fit in here, the base of the machine is going to be sitting here. Uh, this will be uh, like this. And then uh, the back C column is here. The, this front side is where I have access. And here's going to be a solid Pelexi uh, glass uh, window. So I can see inside from here. And here on the front side is going to be uh, probably a sliding door of some sort. Uh, so I have a uh, nice access, but still it's closed up so that I don't have chips flying everywhere. So since I have uh, quite a bit of work to do here, uh, let's just queue time lapse.
So as you can see, I've made quite a bit of progress. Uh, we are looking at the underside of the enclosure now. I've painted the top side with the base coat that is a rust prohibitive primer and then three coats of the light gray paint. And now on the back side, I've done the same with the rust prohibitive primer and I've done one coat of black so far. Now I probably won't be doing all three coats here since after two coats it was like already pretty good on the front. I just wanted to do an extra coat to make it even more protective since that's the side where I'm gonna bang into it all the time. Now what I'm also probably gonna do is add a little bit of the light gray into the black paint to just make it more of a very dark gray instead of a full black to just kinda lighten it up a little bit and make it a bit more interesting. You might have also been seeing that I've sometimes been using a roller and sometimes a brush. Now it does work a lot better with the roller, but since these paints are not water soluble, it's a pain in the butt to clean that roller, since you have to clean it with a paint thinner all the time, which is smelly and you need to use a bunch of it and it's just a nightmare. But on the front side where you can see the paint a bit better, I've just been using the roller and here on the back side I'm just using the brush since it's always as quick and just so much easier to clean up. But now I'll just finish up this backside and then we'll be taking this enclosure into the other room where I can finish it off since on the way there the door is just about exactly as wide as the enclosure is wide so I might be scraping the sides on the door frame a bit and I don't want to be scraping off paint so I will be painting the rest inside of the room. So as you can see, I now got this whole enclosure over into the other room. Uh, but since the door was so tight on both sides, uh, I didn't want to paint these sides since they would probably be scratched up by the door since it like was literally touching on both sides. So I still need to paint those now, which is a lot harder than, than when it was freestanding uh, over there. This side here is already primed, but I need to prime the back side of this panel and also the back side of here. Then just give it like a primer and then a coat of paint so it's protected from rusting. It doesn't need to be super beautiful back there, but it needs to be rust proof. Then I got like some little scratches and like imperfections uh, in different places that I need to fix up. But after that, I think the enclosure for now is pretty much done. So as you can see, now the whole enclosure base is painted uh, with grey on the outside and super light grey, almost white, but if you look at it next to the walls, which are also not 100% white, uh, you can see that it is very slightly grey. Uh, my hope was to like not see dirt and stuff as much on it, but even just handling it now, I already can see some dark spots on it from like smudges so that they not fully work but it's probably still better than fully white. Now 
Of course, this enclosure is not done like that. There will be a whole front part, uh, which is based out of uh, aluminum extrusion and acrylic panels. But I'm gonna wait uh, till much later in the build to do that. So that's why I'm gonna end this video here. In the next video, I'm gonna start assembling everything in it. I will probably have to c cut into the enclosure again to just make space for uh, the motor that is here for the x-axis as it goes a little bit lower. I also uh, will drill through it in the base to mount the base to the table underneath. But that's all gonna be in the next video where I actually start assembling the CNC machine itself. So make sure that you are subscribed and have clicked the little bell icon so you don't miss the next video which is hopefully going to be out very soon. Also please make sure to like this video and share it with everybody that you think could be interested. I really put a lot of effort into uh, these videos of the CNC series and would greatly appreciate if it was able to like reach a bit of a broader audience and uh, you can't really just rely on the YouTube algorithm to serve this video to more than just a few hundred people. So thanks for watching and until next time.